Happy Saturday night, peeps. Uh, it's Saturday night. Not that it matters. Every night is Saturday night when, when you're in quarantine. Okay. Tonight, uh, I had a couple suggestions, but I will really feel like I needed a tropical, fatty, delicious cocktail tonight. So I'm going to make a traditional pina colada, and then I'm going to make one that's a little lighter using the coconut Malibu rum and just some pineapple juice. But the first one is going to be using Coco Lopez or Goya uh, cream of coconut, some pineapple slices. And of course, rum, rum. Um, background, Smoke Daddies, Luke Alvino, rest in peace, my friends. All too late. Anywho, um, so the, the dealio is, this is the secret ingredient, the cream of coconut. Um, today I'm going to do it. Not a regular, usually you get it in like a hurricane glass. I don't own one of those, so I'm just going to do it in a regular glass. And I'm going to do something a little special. I'm going to rim the glass with coconut, unsweetened coconut. So here we go. Don't forget in the background, all my original musician friends on a little spin uh, shuffle play. Um, So first we're going to take, oops, see, little secret. I would have had this out sooner, but as I was shaking the original cocktail, it slipped out of my hand. Coconut, pineapple, and rum everywhere. So I had to clean it up before the dog started getting a little drunk. So, I am grabbing my, my glass. I'm going to put two pineapples in here. If I could grab them. One. I'm using canned pineapple, organic, of course. Um, Sometimes I get fresh, but they didn't look so good. So I'm going to pour. So that's two slices. I'm going to put a little bit of the juice in there. Oops, we got a third one in there. No big whoop. Now, the cream of coconut. You really need to shake this up beforehand because it does separate. So I'm going to put three tablespoons. Like normally I make this thing by the pitcher when I have friends over and everything. But again, I don't have a blender. So I'm just going to use my muddler. And I'm going to put the cream of coconut away before I drop that again. So you can see all that in there. Now we're going to take my muddler which I had to clean off. Now we're gonna mush it around. What you gotta say? Saw you downtown just the other day. With my best friend Ray, too much, too little, all too late. All right, so I'm really mushing it around because you want, you want to be able to get it through the straw. So let me muddle that a little bit more. Put my little into it. If I had a blender, this would be a lot easier. But what the heck? If you like pina coladas. So here we go. And once I add the ice, that'll probably break it up a little bit more. But the pineapple, you really gotta mush around. The cream of coconut is good. Okay, so I think we're pretty good. Can you see that? I mean, there's still some chunky monkeys in there, but that's fine. All right, now, you know how I feel about cleaning off the muddler with booze, because the whatever liquor you're using for whatever cocktail. So, a little bit of that. Get all the good stuff over there. Wow. There's stuff everywhere. Cream of coconut and pineapple chunks everywhere. So usually you put about two, well, two ounces. So that was about an ounce, now I'm putting another ounce in. Cover that up before I drop that. That would be sacrilege, alcohol abuse if I drop that. It's bad enough I spilled the other one. So now I'm gonna carefully take my shaker. Oh, would help if I put some ice in there. Remember, I always tell y'all, 
If you're making drinks for yourself, it's fine to use your hands. But if you have guests, use a scoop. Sometimes a plastic cup works in there good. Or tongs. So, lots of ice. Probably should use crushed ice, but I'm winging it. My favorite part. Remember, we want to shake this so much that this is frosty, especially for a pina colada because I can't make it frozen. Ooh, starting to sweat. Really, I want to really try to break down those pineapples. You can see it's it's pretty good. Mm. So now what I'm going to do is take a glass. Don't really matter what kind of glass you use. Like I said, normally it's a hurricane glass, but I don't have any fancy pina colada kind of glasses, so I'm going to just use a regular kind of rocky kind of glass. So I'm dipping... The, the, I'm dipping the edge of the glass in some pineapple juice that was from the fresh pineapple. And I'm going to take that. Now, I guess it doesn't really work too good. But a little bit of coconut. That looks kind of nice. So we'll put that away. Now I'm going to pour this. Oh, baby. I made a little garnish ahead of time with the filthy cherries and a little piece of pineapple. Put that on top. Normally I'd use those nice bamboo skewers. I keep forgetting to buy them because they are great for garnishes. And then a straw. Paper, of course, made in the United States. They're the really good ones. They last for hours. Pina colada. Oh my God. That's what I needed. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. I'm gonna put that one to the side. Bill Mayer in the background. I'm gonna take another shaker. I'm gonna put ice, ice baby. Now, always, you can always make these in a blender and frozen, and that's really what you should be doing. But because I don't have a blender, <clears throat> and I'm not going out and buying one anytime soon, especially during my unemployment phase. Flip flops and my underwear. <laughs> it's a great line. But I don't care. Malibu rum. Okay, it's a coconut rum. I'm gonna use, probably do two ounces, but because I'm gonna drink both of them, I'm only gonna use an ounce. And then easy peasy. Oh, you know what? I do have pineapple juice already. Oh no, I'll just use this one. I don't wanna leave you again. Oh my goodness, I keep forgetting to open these things before I start. Spoon works really well. Again, shake the crap out of it. You can put this in the blender if you'd like. So obviously, it's going to be a lot less calories than that one because the cream of coconut is really, really fattening. But who cares? Might as well enjoy your life because we're not going anywhere, anywhere. I'm actually going to put this one in a little weird glass. But I'm not straining it, so I'm putting the whole thing in there. See how nice that looks? Filthy cherry and a pineapple. Cheers to the lighter version of the pina colada. I 
that's good too. And I like the fatty version better. Cheers. Too fast in it. Woo! Uh oh. That's delicious. This is delicious. So, I uh, hope everybody's staying safe. Um, trying to be on board. Um, now a little self-promotion. I hate to do it, but gonna have to. Tips are not necessary, but totally greatly appreciated. And you can Venmo me at JennySan629. And then jewelry made by me, silk lariat, earrings, bracelet, six strand chocolate brown bracelet. My shop is sunlit and happy on Etsy.com. All right, well, I hope uh, you enjoyed my tutorial. I kind of was a little bit lazy, but the pina colada thing, I was really jonesing for a pina colada. Have a great Saturday night, everybody. Love you all. Miss you all. Bye.